Hey guys, you are tuned in to my first ever book review. So why do I want to do a book review? First of all, I want to get more content out there for you guys. And second of all, I personally want to read a lot more books. So if I'm here and I'm saying that I'm going to be putting videos out there consistently, what greater accountability partner than you guys and YouTube? So the first book we're going to review is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Right now. And the first habit is be proactive. So essentially, it's don't be reactive. Don't react to a situation, but be proactive to it. And the best way we could explain that is control what you can control. Don't dwell upon things that are out of your control, but if you work on controlling what you can control, you will in fact be somebody who is proactive. So the second habit, begin with the end in mind. So it's very simple. When you start something, and you don't know where you're going, what the end goal is, you're gonna be lost. You have to have a target, you have to have a goal. Example, if you're starting a company and you know that your company, you wanna have hundreds of employees and hundreds of clients, thousands of clients, you have to start from the beginning when you have one employee and one client to put structures in place. And when the company gets bigger and bigger, you just have to give that structure to the new employees and they don't know what to do. So you already have that in mind. Habit number three, put first things first. Once again, this is one that's so much easier said than done. We know what we have to do, but unfortunately the things that we have to do are not the things that we like to do. So we procrastinate on it. We push it at the end of the day and push it at the end of the day. And then once it comes to the end of the day, we say, ah, I'll get it done tomorrow. But if we do it from the beginning and just get it done, there's so much more weight off your shoulders. You're gonna have so much more of a productive day because you got that done. So you know what you guys have to do? Do what you need to do first. So the fourth habit, think win-win. Once again, when you're in a situation that's transactional or even in a relationship with friends, family, or kids, always try to find the win-win. It doesn't have to be win-lose. It doesn't have to be lose-win. There is that middle ground, which is called win-win. And once we find it, both parties are gonna be happy. So just think about it. Always try to find that middle ground, the win-win. Habit number five, seek first to understand than to be understood. This one really hit home with me. It was my favorite habit of the book. I realized that on my own end because when you're having a conversation with somebody or even an argument, most of the times you're listening to them just to rebuttal a response, to prepare your counterattack. But you're actually not even taking the time to understand what they're trying to tell you. And that, in fact, is the hard way to go about it. It's the wrong way to go about it. Take a step back and try to understand their reality. Try to understand their point of view. And once you really tone into that, they will organically understand yours. The sixth habit, synergy. Everything you put out in the universe is what you're gonna receive. So if you're somebody who is positive, you will always receive that. The inverse is true as well. If you're somebody who is negative, you will receive that. So we have to be very careful of the vocabulary we use, the thoughts that we think of, because it will bring that into a reality. It's a law. The seven and final habit, sharpen the saw. So the author refers to a saw that is not sharp and you're trying to cut a piece of wood. It takes so much more time and effort to get through that compared to one that's perfectly sharpened. It takes half the time and so much less effort. So what does that mean to us? It sharpened our mind every single day. Learn something new every single day. Read the proper books that you need to read. Watch the proper YouTube uh, channels and videos. Listen to the proper podcast. Always think about learning something new every single day. Sharpen your saw. So my impressions on the book. I definitely suggest you guys to go pick it up and dive in deep with the author on every single one of the habits. You guys are going to learn so much just like I did. I'm gonna put an Amazon link right here so you guys can go ahead and do that. Now the book in itself is a thicker book. It's about 350 pages, so it takes a bit more time to, uh, to go through it, but it's definitely worth it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and leave some comments down below and live your life on purpose and with purpose. Peace. Hello guys, thank you very much for watching another video once again. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share it with all of your friends. If you want to get a more in-depth look into my life, here are some social media platforms that you can do that. And I will see you in the next video.